I was trained as a biomedical engineer and I didn't find anything I wanted to do in my field. So I had always loved science and I thought being a science teacher would be fun. So after I finished graduate school, I basically decided to become a science teacher. When you were a student, who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was my middle school science teacher because I, I just love science. He was, a, he was a pretty strict teacher, but I learned so much from him. Uh, so sharing your teaching experience, what subjects and grades did you teach? So I've taught in uh, three different schools and I've taught biology, honors biology, AP biology, chemistry, chemistry in the community, physics one, two, three, and AP environmental science. I think that's everything. So what was your favorite like unit, lesson, or activity that you taught every year? So in the AP environmental science class, we have this activity called how many bears can live in this forest. And it's kind of cool because we go out to the commons area and I stand on the catwalk and then I throw all these little pieces of paper and the students have to collect the paper. The paper represents food. Now they have fun running around gathering the food, but the thing is, if everybody was to get the exact same amount of food, they would all survive. But because there's an uneven distribution of who gets the food, half of the population dies. So it's a really interesting lesson. So how did you handle disruptive students or misbehaving students? Yeah, the, be the best way to do that is to take a, a give the a student a, a job, give them some responsibility, give them a, something to take to another teacher, something like that. During your time teaching, what was the biggest change? that you saw in the class. Yeah, technology has made all the difference. Um, you know, what you guys are doing with these recordings right now, it, you couldn't have even dreamed of when we started. There was no, you know, digital photography. We did everything on videotape, you know, and now computers are, are, are everywhere. They're prevalent. The people have phones in a classroom. It's, it's amazing. How has your perspective on teaching um, evolved since your retirement yeah so i've only been officially retired like about two months now so it hasn't really changed that much you know it, it is it seems like a lot of work while you're doing it but i mean the day goes by quickly when i'm at home you know and i re and i wonder how did i ever get all those things done every day yeah uh so what do you think the most important qualities of an educator are to be a good teacher you have to be committed my first year, the, the principal said, you know, you've got to be on every day. You can't have bad days. You've got to be present for the students every single day. And, and you know, you've got to be committed to do that. So what do you feel was the most rewarding part of being a teacher? Uh, probably the most rewarding was when, you know, you, you hear from students that you haven't taught for a long time and you see the amazing things that they're doing and, and it just, you know, makes you so proud that you were part of their life, even though, you know, they've done the work, but you're glad to have known them. If you could give one piece of advice to like the general public and parents about teaching, what would it be? I would say, don't let your kids have cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> that would be it. I mean, at least keep them out of the school or keep them out of the classroom. I, I mean, we've done cahoots. We've done fun things with cell phones, but for the most part, I think they're a big distraction. How has teaching like influenced your life outside of the classroom? I know how to explain things to people. I, I've learned a lot of stuff. People ask me questions about how do things work and having been a teacher, having studied all this, having explained it so many times, it's, it's easy for me to do that now. What advice would you offer to a first year teacher? I would say, you know, you've got to have a set of rules, minimal, set of rules, not a lot, but just a small number of rules that you can, you know, abide by and enforce things that are important. Is there anything you'd like to say to your former students? Well, keep up the good work. Uh, you know, I hope you all have uh, great careers after you leave high school. All right. And what's your favorite movie quote? Ah, that was my question. All right. So I've been practicing this. <laughs> So, have you ever seen the movie The Incredibles? Yes. So, at the very beginning of the movie The Incredibles, they're actually interviewing Mr. Incredible, Frozone, Elastigirl, right? Mr. Incredible says, no matter how many times you save the world, it manages to just keep getting in jeopardy again. Sometimes I just wish it would stay saved, you know? Uh, just for a little while. 
I mean, yeah, I, f I feel like the maid, you know? I just cleaned up this mess. Can't we just keep it clean for 10 minutes? <laughs> That's great.